What up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? You are now officially on the mic with Mike. Well, that's Mikey Johnson, that is. And this is Effective Talk, your number one resource for raw human and community reflection. On the only station that gives you double the inspiration and information. I'm talking WGIV, the soul of Charlotte Radio. And today's show is being, sponsored, being brought to you by Effective Media Inc., your number one resource for web content and digital content publishing. For more information about Effective Media Inc., Call um, our AC directly, 980-989-6958. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a special guest in the house, and he's going um, we're going to talk about how to live a healthier lifestyle. Or mo- excuse me, how to spice up your life. That's right. In a healthier, cultural way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the talented and wonderful Alonzo Hill. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for having me on, sir. I had to. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm talk about getting healthy. Oh, yeah. We need <laughs> and, that. And helping people get healthy and changing their lifestyle. Yeah. A little bit of. Oh, yeah, because we already one month into the year. Well, actually, Absol- we're actually, we're on month number two, so it's oh, definitely a good segment to talk about <laughs> being healthy. <laughs> Absolutely. But I'm going to teach everybody a whole new way. Oh, a yeah. whole new way. Hopefully, I can share that with your audience and they can benefit from uh, what I have to offer. I know they can. That's, oh, yeah. That's for sure. So stick around. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We definitely can benefit from um, eating um, healthier. Because one thing about eating healthier on a consistent basis, mm-hmm. not only your body feels good, but your spirit and your soul feels a lot more better. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Your health affects everything that you do in life. It, it is actually, um, it, it affects your relationships with your family. Mm-hmm. It, it, it affects your performance at work. It affects your uh, your finances because you know you end up paying for uh, either medication or high medical or high medical bills or doctor's visits. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, your health is affected by everything. So we must first start with with uh, you know taking good care of ourselves so to improve the quality of our life. And that's kind of what I uh, I do. I help people guide people in that direction down that path of taking a uh, you know promoting a healthy li- healthier lifestyle so everybody could have a, a better quality of life. You know, it's very interesting that you say that, um, how being healthy can help benefit your finances because I noticed that um, a lot of people, when they get older, they're so very dependent on prescription medication. Absolutely. And, and that is, that's true. And that, that, that's become a problem uh, in the community. And so we must, we must definitely take a, a stand against it, be proactive and, and start uh, eating the right things to prevent disease and uh, down the line. And, and it just impacts our life. You know, if you think about even the fact that you won't be there to leave an inheritance uh, to your kids, that you yeah. won't be there to you, you won't be there fully focused when you're sick. You're not fully focused on uh, improving their lives, improving your family's life. So you focus more so on what's whatever disease that's ailing you uh, rather than uh, uh, focusing on the issue. And so it gives you more time uh, to focus on other things that and improve your quality of life when you don't have to deal with disease. Um, and you know, just feeling bad. Oh yeah, exactly. Um, Cause mm-hmm. I, um, it's amazes me how a lot of people are they dying young from basically heart disease. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, the one killer. Actually, it's a silent killer. Too. Absolutely, heart disease. Disease is the number one killer. Yeah, and we must we got to recognize that. And um, and I'm a testimony to disease. So I, I guess I can tell you a little bit about how yeah. how this, the whole thing started with Zolingo Spice for Life. Go ahead. Um, yeah, absolutely. I was um actually uh, actually been in, in the workforce for 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 many years, um, you know, twenty some years, and then um, I got to a point where where I started losing a lot of weight. Oh man! <laughs> so I losing weight. Uh, at one time, I was two sixty. I went down to a hundred and forty pounds wow uh yeah yeah due to crohn's disease crohn's oh, disease okay. and that's that's prevalent uh, against uh you know it, it does it just doesn't affect a certain group of people it's across the board a lot of people um dealing with crohn's and different uh, uh intestinal disorders that uh that have affect their life and their lifestyles uh tremendously so in order to um in order to get out that that 
of that situation, uh, I remember I went to a holistic doctor, and the thing that he told me when I walked in the door, he hadn't even known me for five minutes, <laughs> and he says, he says, Mr. Hill, you got about two weeks before you're going to be in the hospital for the rest of your life what? unless you make some changes. Oh, man. So – you know what I did? I made some changes. Had to, man. <laughs> I had to make some changes, and that was in 2010. Uh, and and thank God I'm here today after making those changes, after researching and finding out what works for the body, what heals the body, and also finding out what uh, destroys the body yes. and the things to avoid and the things to put in the body to uh, help it heal itself. Okay. And what, what I managed to do was mm -hmm. – uh, take myself off of any um, any doctor prescription medications. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, prescription medications don't e exist. I was on for a regular basis. I had the, the surgery. I, you know, the doctors gave me about three options when I went in for the surgery. They said either you're going to you, you're going to come out with a colostomy bag, uh, you're not going to make it, or it's a chance that you'll make it and, and, you know, you got probably about another 10 years or so before you go back in for a surgery again. Okay. So I was hoping for the latter so I can get a, another chance, of course. <laughs> I said I want some more time. So what, what, I've, what I've discovered is that um, after going through that, I, I'm, you know, I'm not thinking about 10 years. I'm thinking about the rest of my life. Yeah, life time because you, you just got married recently. yes. A very lovely woman. Absolutely. My beautiful wife, Robin Hill, uh, works there at Hendrick Lexus. Everybody go see if they need that new Lexus now. <laughs> but she's also um, also a lovely, talented person. She's a, a motivational speaker and an author. Best selling author. That best selling author of uh, Urban Joy. So everybody oh, go get Urban Joy. Uh, it definitely uh, shows you how to uh, live a joyful life uh, no matter what. Uh, situations that you're going through exactly. uh, her, her book has helped uh, a lot of people tremendously and uh, I, I think you're probably talking to her a little bit later about that but yes oh, yeah. absolutely like to, um, but but that was one of the things that mm -hmm. led me to uh, you know finding my wife mm -hmm. is I started taking better care of myself mm -hmm. and started uh, when I researched and found that you know foods and things I need to do better uh, to make myself better and that's what it's all about Making making yourself better so you can make other people better, mm -hmm. and so um, so absolutely. So um, once I started doing that, uh, I, it kind of opened my eyes up, and things became a little bit clear. Actually, in life, uh, became clear. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Can you explain to uh, to the listeners uh, mm -hmm. what type of foods uh, will help you um, nurture and give your mm -hmm. body more more um, fulfilling energy? Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Now, what I found is. <clears throat> that if we stick to a diet of live food or food that um, uh, healthy food, food that has benefits, spices, there's a lot of spices that that promote healing. And I, I love that, spicy food. Oh yeah, well, well, you know, it's it, <laughs> like that spicy food. Absolute cayenne pepper is very, it's very uh, therapeutic and uh, medicinal. Uh, so different things uh, like a. Uh, Turmeric is I always, uh, you know, encourage everyone to get turmeric in their diet on a daily basis. Um, that is a major inflammation fighter. Fighter. If um, if you if you understand that most of the diseases that we have today, or um, starts with inflammation. Even though you talk about arthritis, you talk about Alzheimer's, you talk about uh, any type of stomach stomach disorder. It's all stems from inflammation. And when and so if you're taking something like turmeric turmeric every day, it's constantly fighting inflammation. And I recommend that if you do have turmeric, add a little black pepper with it because it helps the turmeric to be absorbed into the body. So that's just one of the things that I teach with um, with Zolingo Spice for Life, and you know it's, it's amongst you know several things, uh, different spices. Uh, all I, um, I I actually show the healing benefits that uh, each spice has and, and how we can incorporate it into my our food every day because I found it out that, you know, a lot of folks are walking around here sick because, oh, you know, this doesn't taste good. They it don't even yeah, know. Exactly. Or, you know, they, 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 we get addicted to, uh, I think, the sugar and the salt. Uh, 
So um, in sodium, in sodium, absolutely. So we start out as young kids, is you know, you know when when, when you get in trouble, what what they do, you know, what what, what you know what I mean. Uh, I'm sorry, not 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 in trouble <laughs> when you did something good. We yeah. did something good. We, yeah. get, we, we get a treat. Yeah. Okay. Well, you get a treat. We get a piece of candy, right? Yeah. So at that time, we were conditioned mm -hmm. to believe that candy's good, sugar's good, yeah. and so we do this all through our lifetime. And by the time we get in our forties and fifties, mm -hmm. that 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 treat that we've been after we were kids, we were treat we, we look for mom and daddy to give to us. We started giving to ourselves once we got older, mm -hmm. and guess what? We still treating ourselves, but we're doing damage. I call it a slow suicide. And by the time we get into our forties, fifties, that's when disease kicks in, mm -hmm. and disease starts to take over our bodies. Um, but uh, my main philosophy is, is, you know, you have to think of your body as having two armies. Mm -hmm. One's a healthy army, one's a disease army. And depending whatever you put in your mouth uh, determines which army takes over the other. Yeah. So it's like giving them ammunition. So if you put uh, processed food, uh, high sugar food, content food in your body, it's, you're feeding a disease army and the disease army will take over. You put more live fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, healing foods, uh, then guess what? Your, your, your healthy army will take over your body, and then you'll feel, um, you know, you'll see the difference. And, and it just takes weeks, if, you know, in, in developing a habit and a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of what some of the things that I do. I help people develop a habit and a lifestyle and be able to enjoy healthy foods um, without sacrificing, you know. So that is that's the way we do things. So, uh, I just teach them different recipes, different foods and spices, or different spices to add with their food, the, the right types of food to eat. Also, it's not just about food; it's about your lifestyle. Because I believe that you know it, it's not it's not helpful to say, "Hey, I'm going on a diet in January." It's like a lot of people do make resolutions. You must say you you're going to do a lifestyle change because that's what's about. That's what Zolingos is about promoting a healthy lifestyle change, and this is something that will last forever. Yeah, because you can't do this for about you know, two or three days, or yet, two or three weeks. I mean, you have to do this on a consistent basis. And as you can do it on a consistent basis, then you see um, the change. Absolutely. Not, well, only, not, not only the way you walk, the way you talk, but also the way you think. You, well. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right because it does go and it affects the brain. It affects it, just so many things that your health and what you're eating affects. So it, it is. It um, it's just crucial that we that we start making those changes. And it's, and what I teach is doing it a little bit at a time. Okay. We are, we have to understand that you know we're in an age now we, we where we want instant gratification. Yes, instant gratification. We should not expect that. If we're talking about a lifestyle change, mm -hmm. understand it's going to happen, but we have to make small changes to make things more effectively. So, you know, that's what it's about. Okay, man. Mm -hmm. um, so what can we expect from the Zalinkos for the rest of 2017? Oh, 2017. I got... Um, <laughs> one month down, 11 more to go. One, one month down, 11 more to go. Hey, I'm, I'm starting out great. I'm on the program here with you, Mike. Uh, glad to get out <laughs> and contact a lot of people and, and let them know what Zolingos is about. But, uh, but I've been working with... Um, uh, Healthy Charlotte also uh, you know they've done some events at the Kidney Foundation I plan on being back with those folks again and helping out and also uh, getting out to the communities and, and talking to our younger folks and um, and actually everyone I, I've, I've done uh, uh, sessions at people's homes and, okay. and individual sessions to help folks uh, promote a healthy lifestyle so if you have a group or organization church uh, social group uh, some kids at school that you that you want to uh, want more information about uh, you know living a healthier lifestyle because it starts with actually with the kids if we start with the kids it'll get better as we go along okay no doubt um, um, tell the listeners where you can find Zolingos and we definitely will bring you back to the show to talk a little bit more okay about um, other products that you have as well okay yeah absolutely so yeah Zolingos uh, Spice for Life you can get on my website at ZolingosSpiceForLife.com and or you can contact me two four zero three nine three five five one five, and you know just uh, you know send me an email message there on Zolingo Spice for Life and uh, just tell me what you want and I'll, I'll come out and help you out. 
All right. Help you get on the right track for for 2017. All right. You, your family, organization, or group. Mm-hmm. All right, man. To all the listeners um, listening right now, if you're on a um, fast truck already. Mm-hmm. But um, right now, we got to wind things down. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is your host with the most, Mikey Johnson. And this has been our show for the night. Thank you. God bless.